So just yesterday in my channel update video had said that I'll be getting my DSLR in the next few days and fortunately today Flipkart delivered my DSLR and this might come as a surprise to many people out there but I chose the Nikon D3300 that I have over here with me that we'll be unboxing right now as my DSLR for the channel and um, there have been many reasons because of which I chose the Nikon D3300 over many DSLRs out there like the 600D etc. Um, the main reason that I chose the Nikon D3300 is mainly because of its price, um, its specifications. Uh, I can record videos at 1080p and at 60 frames per second, so that seems great. And with uh, right color correction, I feel that those videos might really look good. And um, I got this one for around 28,300, so it was a real steal in my opinion. So that's why I chose the Nikon D3300 over many DSLRs out there. The closest competitor to this was the Canon 1200D, which was uh, roaming at around 27,000. And uh, it was a pretty old DSLR, I felt it, it's almost like 4 years old. So definitely the, the 3300 was my primary choice. And without any further ado, let's start the unboxing. So the first thing that I noticed as soon as I got this DSLR is that um, the packaging of this DSLR was really huge. It came in a huge box, it had tons of bubble wrap. So um, I would say that the transit was good for this package. The um, packaging was quite safe in my opinion so that the DSLR didn't get damaged. And uh, this plastic wrap came as a surprise to me. I didn't think that um, it would come like this. I thought that the bag and the SD card might come separately. So let's just first tear this pack and uh, get on to the DSLR. So first of all, having a look at the bag, um, I can definitely say that the quality of the bag is much better than what we get um, with the uh, Canon DSLRs. Um, let me just tear this through once again. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, the Oxygen OS review was shot with the um, Canon 550D, so I had the bag as well. And the quality of the bag was not that great. So over here, the quality of the Nikon bag that we have is really great, I feel. Um, if I'm not wrong, this material is called a Rexin or something like that. So it feels really good and we have a compartment on the back. Um, two compartments on the front and the main camera compartment. And I have heard that the strap is a bit short but the bag is really great. So I'll be keeping this to the aside. And uh, the bag retails for around like 250 rupees uh, outdoors. And here yeah, we have a DSLR tutorial. So really nice, I feel. Um, the 8GB SD card. Um, I'll also be running a test on this SD card to check its read and write speed. Wow, it's in fact a SanDisk SD card. Quite surprised about it. It seems that, uh, yeah, it's a SanDisk SD card. Um, uh, the read speed is 40 Mbps, so that's really good. Let me just focus a second. Yeah. The read speed is 40 Mbps, and this it's the SanDisk Ultra memory card. Um, so a bit surprised, but really happy with it. And here is the start of the show, and it comes with the two-year warranty. And I'll also have the links to Flipkart and Amazon in the description below. Let me just cut this through. So some pamphlets uh, over here. It's, it has a pamphlet about the Nikon school. Um, it seems that these are the service stations. Um, there's a service station just near me, so that's really good. Um, the service warranty, um, I guess I need to fill, fill this in, um, the booklets, um, I'll make sure that I'll read them and we also have a CD, I'll check that out later. So let me just keep this to the aside a bit and um, first let's have a look at the lens, once again nice bubble wrap, yeah. okay so the first impression of this lens is that it's really small. Um, I had read about this and um, watching and catch, uh, holding this in hand, 
it definitely makes it look really small i feel the weight is a, a bit heavier on i feel but uh, the lens is really small once again and um, it's a 18 to 55 mm f 3.5 to 5.6 um vr2 lens and the vr stands for vibration reduction um it's a sort of image stabilization over here we have the av2 mini usb cable um the wall plug and uh, here we have the charger and i really like this set um they have avoided the charger over here so that i can just plug this in directly so that's a good thing in my opinion um the nikon strap and uh, here we have the usb 2 micro us mini usb cable uh this is and uh, over here we have the battery um, if I'm not wrong, the model version is EL EN EN EL 14A, and it's a 1,230 milliamp hour battery. Um, really small once again. And here's the main body. So let me just keep this to the side. So while I was comparing the B3300 uh, with the 600D, which was my other option. Um, the only con that I felt with the D3300 was that um, it didn't have a swivel or an articulating screen. Except for that, um, it was the perfect choice for me, I felt. So the body feels really light once again. Over here, we have the Nikon branding and it also says that it needs the F mount. And the materials feel good over here. We have the um, plastic guard protecting the screen. I'll remove that later. Over here, we have the SD card slot. And... Um, the architecture of this body seems quite um, similar to that of the uh, what do you say um, 550D that I had used uh, over here it says Nikon D3300 the shutter button and the on off switch and except for that the uh, build quality is absolutely great I feel it's really compact once again and the lens is also quite compact um, you have to press this button to open up the lens and uh, the initial impressions about the body and the um, stuff that we get with the DSLR are really good. The quality once again is really great. Um, hoping that I'll be recording the videos in 1080p at 60 frames per second. At least um, some of them, not if not all of them, uh, will be recorded at 60 frames per second. So this will be acting as my primary DSLR as of now. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. For this video and i'm also planning to take the um by the uh, uh, uh 35 millimeter f 1.8 lens from nikon it's a really great lens i have heard so that's on my list as of now so that's it for this video of the nikon d3300 unboxing make sure that you like the video and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel as it helps the channel grow thank you